Hello, dear friends. This is Ewell Humphreys, and I'm glad to be with you and share with you another word, a Bible, and I'm going to speak to you on about a 10-minute message on feed the flock. Feed the flock. It's so important that we learn to feed God's people. The word of the Lord, the truth, the knowledge of the Most High. And so pray for me. Pray for me that I shall be able under God to preach the whole counsel. Bible says this is important. And may the Lord help me. In Jesus' name, amen. Over in the book of Acts, I want to, to read in the 20th chapter, Paul is leaving ever since he's going to Jerusalem, and he probably will never see these friends of his. He's leaving, I believe he's at Ephesus, and uh, he's leaving, and, and he'll probably never see him. He's been with them for some time, over a year, maybe two years. And so it is that as he was leaving, he said, I, I you remember. Remember that I didn't I, sh I did not shun to preach the whole counsel of God. I didn't I didn't keep back anything from you. I tried to preach the whole counsel, everything in the word, the good and the bad, and that's important. So pray for me that I will be able to preach the whole counsel of God. That's what I intend to do. And that's what I've tried to do for many many years. Well, to we're to preach the good and the bad, the sweet and the bitter, heaven and hell. Oh, praise God. We're to preach that which we're taught in the word of the living God. And that is uh, a word on troubles and a word on blessings, a word on burdens and a word on good things. Oh, praise God. A word on dying and a word on everlasting life with God. So we're to preach the whole counsel of the living God. And then it says, I, uh, I, I charge you to uh, feed the flock, of, to feed the flock, and to, uh, to, uh, to feed the church which Christ has purchased with his own blood. So he says here he wants us to feed the flock feed the flock, and then to feed the church, which is the flock, uh, according to the fact that he has purchased that church with his own blood. And so we, we see here the importance of feeding the flock. We need to feed the flock by the power of the Lord. We need to go to God and let him help us feed. Let him, we need to get the food from him, spiritual food. That shall strengthen you and give you knowledge and understanding. We need to see the importance over in the book of, uh, of uh, Jeremiah. If we'll read over in the book of Jeremiah here yeah, a word that I think is good. It said, I will feed you as a flock, and I will give you pastors that will feed you the good word of God with spiritual, with uh, wisdom and knowledge and understanding. I'll give you pastors to feed you. I want you to pray that God has called me to preach, and he's called me to preach to you, dear friend. You, wherever you might be, all over this world, thank God that through the computers that the word is going out, and the hand of the Lord, I believe, is upon me. I am so unworthy, but God is so great. And so praise God that he will help us to feed the flock. Now you that are Christians, you need also to recognize that the Lord has made you to be overseers by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Bible says, has made you to be overseers that you could feed the flock and feed the church. And so you need to give a word in due season. You need to tell others what you have experienced with the Lord. You need to tell others that you love God and God loves you. You need to feed the church, and the church is his sheep, it's his flock. Over in the book again, in the, in the book of, uh, of John in the 21st chapter, Jesus was getting ready to ascend and go back to heaven. And he, after his crucifixion and after his resurrection, and as he spoke to Simon Peter, he said, Peter, son of Jonah, do you love me? 
And, and, and Peter, being grieved, that he asked him the third time, said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Here it is that Jesus then said, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. Three times he asked Peter, do you love me? Three times Peter said, yes, I love you. Three times Jesus said, feed my sheep. And so he wants us to feed the flock. He wants to do it because we love him. He wants to share his love with them. And he does it through you and me. And so this is important that we know this truth. And this truth will keep us uh, strong and it'll help us to go forth. Remember that he has, uh, take heed then to yourselves, that you feed the flock and that you seek to feed the church which he purchased with his own blood. Oh, praise God. He purchased the flock with his own blood. He's purchased you, dear friend, with his own blood. He has gone to that cross and there he died, suffering, pain, shame for you and for me. And there he died for sinners. And when he, before he died, he cried out, it's finished, it is finished. Praise the Lord, the work is done. You have but to believe on him now, and you're saved forever. You have but to believe in him as your Lord and you be born again, and you belong to God, and you shall have no other way but His way that's most important to you. And you shall love the Lord, and though you cannot see Him, you will love Him with joy, because He'll be real to your heart, and He'll love you, and He'll speak to your heart, and He'll tell you that He loves you. And I praise God, He's, I, he's told me to tell you that He loves you. Praise the Lord, and let this be your hope and help. And now as you go today, go on in this strength that the Lord goes with thee, and he'll be with thee, and he'll never leave thee. But by the grace of God, he's there to help you to find and follow the way of the Lord. How good it is that he purchased us with his own blood at Calvary. Down at the cross where my Savior died, down where for cleansing from sin I cried, there to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to His name, glory to His name, glory to His name. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to his name. Oh, wondrous love, how sweet and sweet. Pour out the love at the Savior's feet. Come in today and be made complete. Glory to his name. Glory to His name, glory to His name. Nail Him to His heart, every made complete. Glory to His name. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God loves you. I want you to know that. And so share this word and pray for me that I'll continue to share the word with God's people anywhere and everywhere. I want you to pray a brief prayer with me if you're not sure you're going to heaven and be sure as you can. Just say, dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. In Jesus' holy name, amen. And now find you a good church and worship God with his people. May the hand of the Lord be upon you. And dear Christian, always remember and know that the Holy Spirit is, has called you to witness and to feed God's people. May the Lord bless you, keep you close to him. God loves you and I love you. Amen.